Hey guys, welcome to what will be hopefully the last part of this tutorial um, about creating a realistic alley scene in Blender. The last time we left, um, we had just finished texturing this trash can. And in previous sections of the tutorial, we had finished texturing this piece of plywood. So now the next thing, obviously, is to texture the walls and the floor. And if I have time, I'll go into using the particle system to add dirt to the ground. So let's get started right away. First of all, um, in, edit, in object mode, select this uh, backdrop, press tab to go into edit mode, and select these uh, four vertices for the uh, back wall, and press P and separate by selection. Now if you, go, if you hit tab to go into object mode, you now notice that you can select either one, um, either the floor or the wall, and they're now separate objects. And it'll help us to uh, texture them a little bit easier. So, now I'm going to go ahead and click on this diagonal line, drag my window over, um, change it to UV Image Editor, close that. I'm going to open an image, and the image I have for the wall will be brick small brown, this one right here. Open image, and now I'm going to uh, roll your mouse over the 3D screen, press tab to go into edit mode, and hit U unwrap. You notice the image disappeared. I'm not sure why it does that, but um, yeah, it's just easier just to open it up again. Open image. There you go. And now you can see the image is back here. Um, you can also go into textured mode to see what we have here. As you notice, the bricks are pretty much the right size. But one thing I'm looking at here is um, they're not perfectly on the ground properly. There's not a row of bricks all the way on the ground. And I'm just going to change that by putting my mouse over the, um, the UV window, pressing G and Y so I can move it vertically. And I'm just going to position it so that I can see in the 3D viewport when my um, when it lines up, a row of bricks lines up on the ground. This next one's pretty good here. Just like that. And now as you can see, and there's a row of bricks that are pretty much look like they're on the ground. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the floor. Press tab to go into object mode. Select the floor. Tab to go into edit mode. Press A until they're all, all the vertices are selected. Press U and unwrap. And I don't know if that did anything. Yeah, I guess it did, okay. Image open, and this time I have concrete floor texture. There we go. Um, all these textures, I'll put links in the description below so you can download them. And also at the end of the, at the very end tutorial, the very last part, I'll also put a download link for the finished blend file where I've also added a little bit extra detail that I won't go into in these tutorials so you can uh, open it up and pick it apart and see what I've done to it. But anyway, right now, if you go into our camera view by pressing zero on the numpad, you can see that this is approximately what is what the scene is going to look like. And I think it looks, um, looks pretty good. So now you actually have to apply these textures to the objects. So first of all, make sure you're in object mode. Select the wall. Um, click on the materials. Click on new material. It's called wall or whatever, and then turn intensity down, the specular intensity. We don't want it to um, reflect at all. Go into our texture um, options, press new texture, image or movie, and I'm just going to call this diffuse because it's going to be our color. Open it up, find the small uh, whatever brick texture that we used. Open image, very good. In mapping, go to UV instead of generated and leave it on color. And we're done for the diffuse or the color of the wall. For the ground, do exactly the same thing. Material, new material, we don't want this um, reflecting at all. But we will use a specular map for this. Um, if you watched the previous parts of the tutorial, we, um, you know we use a specular map for the trash can. And we're basically going to do the same thing for the ground, um, but very, very low. So it's not really very defined. I'm going to call this ground. All right, go into my texture, add a new texture, image, open our concrete floor. I'm going to call this use. Then 
change the mapping to UV, and we're good to go. So if you want to see what it looks like, you can just go ahead and press F12 and give it a test render. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's looking pretty good. Right now, as you can tell, it looks really flat because there's no uh, bump map or anything. And, of course, that's the next thing we're going to add. And I just paused the uh, recording while I was rendering, by the way. As you can see, it took 1 minute and 23 seconds to render. I don't want to waste that time just uh, watching it render. So now, we can go ahead and uh, open up GIMP. And we're going to create our normal or our bump maps. Okay, so go ahead and open up our um, ground texture first, which was concrete. And of course, immediately go to colors, desaturate, choose luminosity, okay. Colors, brightness, contrast, turn to contrast. Uh, well, I would say almost all the way up, but not quite, because we still want some of the smaller details in there and adjust the brightness until we get the detail we want. That looks pretty good. Okay, so file, save as. Um, JPEG will be just fine. Hundred percent quality. And if we go back into Blender, Make sure our floor is selected, go back into the textures, and click on a new slot, click new, uh, image or movie, and go ahead and open up the image, and it'll be called concrete bump. Uh, I think it would be, the, oops, I'm going to check to make sure I got the right file here. Concrete floors bump, okay, it's just that one. Concrete floors bump, here we go, open up the image go down to call this extra so don't forget. go down to our mapping again and change it of course to UV deselect color because we don't want it to influence the color we just want it to influence the normal and the specular intensity um, actually you know we have to do it separately so first of all just uh, do it for the normal and you can see up here if you click on material which way it's going and just to see, I'm going to turn all up to the 5. You can see in the display, that's actually too much. Play around with this value a little bit. I want this, like, these little dark spots to be dented in. So it looks like we're going to do something like negative. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay. So I'm going to put it at um, negative 0 0.02. Because it needs to be pretty low. It doesn't look like it's doing anything in the viewport, in the uh, preview here, but... It actually is when you render it. Okay, so that is our normal. And now we're going to click on a new slot, add new again. And so we're going to call this one spec. And open up uh, image or movie. Open the image again. Here it is. Open it up and set it again to UV. And this time we're going to deselect color and select intensity. And we're also going to select RGB to intensity, and it says here converts texture RGB values to intensity gray values. And um, so our black and white sections will determine the uh, intensity of our specular. If you just leave it, um, it RGB to intensity deselected, it doesn't actually use the, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't work. So you have to click that. And the black parts of our texture will have. Um, very low specularity and the white parts will have high specularity which is what we want because these black splotches are kind of like dirt and stuff in the concrete that wouldn't reflect at all but we still have to put it very very low something to like say 0.1 and now of course we have to give it uh, another test render okay so if you zoom in here you can see this is pretty much exactly the effect we want we can see the normal acting a little bit the specular is not very uh is not too noticeable, but I'm just gonna go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put it up to say 0.15, and maybe might as well just put the uh, or change the name of this to bump. I'm gonna just go ahead and put this up as well a little bit, uh, which will be negative 0.0. 
0.03, that should be good. Actually, negative 0.04, probably better. Roughly double it, I guess, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing now, of course, for the wall. So go back into GIMP, file, uh, close this image, open our brick texture, here it is. Um, do the same thing, colors, desaturate, luminosity, okay. And you would, of course, have done this a lot if you'd <laughs> watched the rest of the tutorial. It's a pretty common thing to do, creating um, a specular, a normal map from an image so that they match. Okay, I'm going to make two separate maps for the wall, one for the bricks. Actually, no, I'm just going to do one, one for everything. Be a little bit easier. Nah, I'll go ahead and do this. I'm going to make a separate normal map for the cracks and a separate one for the other smaller details. So I can turn the cracks one up really high and give extra depth to the cracks, but um, use a separate one for the bumpiness of the bricks so I don't overdo it as well. So this one I'm going to put somewhere thing like that so you can see the cracks stand out a lot, but the bricks are just pretty much all black. File, save as. Um, Let's go ahead and save it as a PNG. This one will be small brown cracks. I've had to redo this a couple of times, so make sure I name it to something I can remember. Go back into Blender, select the wall in object mode, um, go into your materials, actually into your textures, add a, click on a new slot. And just go ahead and add a new texture, image or movie. Open it up, select the bump mat we just made. I'm going to call it cracks. UV under mapping, and you select color and select normal. I'm just going to put it all the way up to five. And as you can see, if you click the material in here, you can see um, the cracks are sinking in and the bricks are popping out, which is uh, exactly what we want. So, time to go back into GIMP again and just hit control Z on this image and we get the grayscale line back so colors, brightness and contrast this time don't turn the contrast all the way up probably around there about to 90 about here is good, okay file save as this is the client cracks, call it bump okay good enough and Go back into Blender, click on a new slot in the textures, this time call this bump, go down, select UV, oops, first do this, image or movie, there we go, open it up, brick small brown, bump, last, bump, Okay, just make sure I got the right ones there. And of course the same thing, deselect color and select normal. And this time probably don't put it at one, I'd put it at something about 0.7. And now I'll go ahead, press F12 for another render.